hello viewers welcome to my channel again i am back with a new uh, autodesk maya tutorial recently i posted a poll uh, about which uh, maya video are you looking for and 50% uh, of you voted for uh, modeling a tooth in maya and 50% of you voted for uh, game props so i thought i will make video uh, of uh, both of these topics so in this video i'm going to show you how you can model a tooth in autodesk maya so let's get started i will go to the poly modeling here and here i will take this polygon cylinder and let's go to the input of this polygon cylinder and make this subdivision axis to um, 16 okay not 16 i'll make it 32 so you uh, might ask why i made this 32 because we have 32 teeth and uh, that means eight tooth in each quadrant so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now uh, go to this subdivision cap and make it like four. And go to the top view and delete this half. And also delete all these faces so we have this cylinder okay and let's connect these edges first so i'm going to use the uh, weld tool here select this edge and this edge and then use the breach tool to fill this gap We should have uh, turned on the symmetry option, but since I didn't do it, let's fill this gap of both sides manually. Okay. Now. Uh, Let's move it a little bit downward. Okay, now select all this face. Okay, so I'm selecting all this face of this cylinder loop and then extrude them. And here in the extrude option, here you can see keep face together on. Let's turn this off and then scale a little bit and then again extrude and move them downwards okay now do not unselect uh, this face now select all this face and go to the edit mesh option and then extract this face in that way these face are now individual separate face from the this mesh okay now what we need to do is let's insert edge loop uh, in between uh, this 
each of this quadrant it's not quadrant each of this box so i'm selecting this edge and press the control and the right mouse button in edge and split edge control right mouse button and then edge ring utilities sorry not here edge ring utilities and to edge ring and split so use this option to uh, evenly uh, divide a face okay i'm doing this for all the boxes and you can do one side because eventually we will uh, duplicate the other half uh, will only work with one quadrant but I'm doing it anyway okay so now what we're going to do go to the top view and select this vertex So I'm selecting all the vertexes Okay, go to the perspective view again and deselect this one I do not need this one and then move them downward Okay, we have to select those that are in the back also. So I'm selecting all of these. and deselect those that are in the bottom those vertex and now you can see I'm moving them downwards a little bit now select all these uh, face that we separated okay let's work with one quadrant only so i'm going to delete the other side okay now select this uh, individual face that we say extracted from this original gum part of the tooth and then extrude them okay so here you can see that we have created our teeth now each teeth are different and <laughs> we will uh, model them uh, according uh, into the shape of the original tooth so let's go to uh, google and see some how uh, original teeth look like and here you can see the central lenses of the shapes so Let's achieve this shape first of the central incisor tooth. This is the first tooth. So let's insert H loop in here so that we can modify this. Okay. 
select this vertex and move it forward go to the top view and move them a little bit and let's remove this vertex and move them backwards and scale a little bit this part and insert an edge loop in here so now you can see that this tooth uh, it now looks like central incisor maybe move this one a little bit So this is our central incisor teeth and let's insert another edge loop. Let's move to the second tooth, uh, which is our lateral incisor, which is almost similar to uh, the central incisor in look, uh, just a little bit shorter than the central incisor. So we are going to du uh, duplicate this. rotate it a little bit and also scale it go to the top view so that the same line okay Maybe we can modify this vertex a little bit. Okay. So central incisor and uh, lateral incisor, uh, we made this two teeth. Let's move this vertex to make this tooth a little bit thinner. and ok 
Okay. Looks good. And scale this with a little bit and push it a little bit. So let's move to the next step which is our canine and the canine is slightly different uh, from the uh, in compare with the central and the lateral lenses. So, so let's insert some edge loop in here. Let's split this and this. Okay. Now select the vertex. This one and this one. push them forward okay here you can see one problem when we are moving we should change the uh, orientation axis let's make it a component now world or uh, object none of these are working so what we can do is we go to the top view and because if we do not change the orientation of the axis you can see if we move it it is moving in this direction so what we are going to do we press the d button in the keyboard and here you can move the axis and i am aligning it with the with this edge and now if we uh, push this vertex here you can see they are uh, moving in proper way so we have to do this every time this forward Let's move this first also. Okay, looks good. Now, if you go to the reference image here, you can see that the canine to the point mm, in. Uh, they are pointed in here so we have to make this point so move this vertex a little bit and now move them downwards a little bit now select this edge Uh, 
and review and go to the top view to align the orientation and then scale them a little bit now select this vertex of the front and scale them Now again check the reference image here you can see that the tooth size is very big for the canine so I'm going to make it more wider Okay, so I'm scaling it and select this vertex and this vertex and a little bit of scaling. Okay, so here you can see that this is our canine kit now. We have to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now push them forward because this teeth is too much wide. and also push them forward Okay, let's move this vertex forward also. And scale it a little bit. Okay, so this is our third teeth. Maybe if we insert two H loop in here, it will be much more pointy. Yes. So here you can see that we have created the canine tooth. So let's move these faces a little bit forward so that the tooth does look uh, less wider because 
right now there's too much the width is okay and let's move these vertex forward also I think now uh, it looks good so let's move to the next teeth which is our first premolar and let's check some reference image for our first premolar we need a side view So here you can see that <coughs> this uh, this is the first premolar and this is the second premolar. These two tooth are almost uh, similar, and the from side uh, they look like uh, almost like the canine, uh, but they are smaller in size and much wider comparatively so let's make them so we're going to make the first premolar so i'm going to select this canine and duplicate it and let's go to the top view and place this one here and then rotate it okay and scale this tooth not in this way we can scale it uh, by this and again go to the top view place this to the appropriately okay and select this vertex because uh, this first premolar is a little bit different from the canine tooth so we have to modify it a little bit select this vertex go to the top view ok now uh, select uh, after selecting this vertex let's move them a little bit and select only these four and push them backwards a little bit okay so this is our first premolar teeth and 
and let's insert another edge loop in here to hold the structure okay so it looks good now delete this and duplicate this one okay before duplicating it let's modify the shape of this tooth a little bit select this vertex and move them outwards a little bit Okay. Select this vertex and okay so i'm satisfied with the result so i'm going to duplicate this and go to the top view and place it in the appropriate position Again, check the reference image. Uh, you can see the height of the first and second premolar is much lower than the uh, canine, so that's why their height is different from the canine. Okay, now we have uh, three teeth left, the molar tooth, so you can go to the reference image and here you can see from the side view how the molar tooth uh, look. So take this mesh and let's modify this one. So I'm going to insert one edge loop in here and one in here, one here and one in here and also insert edge loop in here, one in here and one in here. Now we have to achieve the shape of the so let's move this downwards a little bit and select this and scale the scale 
scale this vertex and again check the reference image so let's move this vertex first Move them here and then insert one in edge loop in here and scale this edge loop. So I'm scaling it and move them upwards. And now if you check here you can see that we have achieved the, uh, this shape now select this vertex two vertex and move them go to the top view and round this shape select all these vertex and scale we are widening up this part Okay, now select this vertex and scale them. and now check the reference image here you can see that this gum part is uh, not that much curved compared to the uh, other tooth so we are going to move this vertex a little bit upwards
so here you can see that we have created the first molar tooth and now we just have to duplicate this one and place it in the appropriate position rotate this rotating it a little bit and then again duplicate and place it in the 8 socket so this is it we have created all the 8 tooth of one quadrant of our mouth and now what we are going to do is select all these and let's delete the history and now mesh and combine them go to the top view and move the axis here and let's duplicate special so this is our uh, other quadrant of the tooth and here you can see that there is gap present between this tooth and we have to uh, fill this gap because a natural tooth uh, usually uh, there shouldn't be any gap in here so let's go to the here again and select this vertex and move them So I'm filling the gap present between these tooths. So here you can see that we have uh, filled the gap between the tips to make it uh, look more natural. I think it looks good now okay, let's select this gum part and 
more weight a little bit upwards it upwards a little bit we have to deselect this part Okay, now s let's duplicate this one. So here is our tooth, and let's connect these two. So mesh and combine then edit delete by type and history and now select the vertex from the front view and go to edit mesh and march so that's it this is our This is our one jaw and let's duplicate this one and rotate it negative 180 and let's scale it a little bit um, because tooth of upper jaw are a little bigger Then that of the lower jaw. So that's it. That's how you model tooth in Autodesk Maya. Hopefully, this video will be helpful to you. And I will come with a new video uh, soon. Until then, goodbye, guys.